Hello and welcome to today's show. My name is John Fontaine and we're going to speak about the most popular books of all time. As you can see, I have my library here. This second shelf representing my Jehiliya. We'll explain that later. And the second shelf actually explaining where we're going to end up. Recently, a website called lovereading.co.uk actually collated all the figures for the books throughout time. The most popular books, it took into consideration the editions, the prints, and they collated all the figures together and they actually got uh, the top 10 most printed books of all time. Now we're going to go through the top 10. Number 10, we have an astonishing 85 million copies printed worldwide and this is The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. At number nine we have The Dream of the Red Chamber and then there were none, The Hobbit and Alice in Wonderland. This is all joint position at number nine for a hundred million copies printed worldwide. In at number eight with an astonishing 140 million copies we have Liberty Prince. In at number seven we have the Lord of the Rings collection with 150 million copies. In at number six, we have a classic by Charles Dickens, A Tale of Two Cities, reaching over 200 million copies. Number five, we have a very popular one for modern times, the J.K. Rowling collection, which is the Harry Potter series. This has sold an, an amazing 450 million copies worldwide. Quite impressive. In at number four, we have the Spanish novel Don Quixote, which is over 500 million copies. Okay, now to the final three books, the most popular books of all time. We go in at number three, and this is a very worrying number three. Number three, we have the staunch atheist, the most one of the most popular atheists of all time. We have quotations from Chairman Mao Zedong with over 800 million copies. And that's a very worrying number three, if you ask me. In a number two, we have the most controversial book of all time. This is the King James Version of the Bible. Now, this isn't actually the King James Version. This is the Revised Standard Version, but I don't have a copy of the King James Version. But I did get this from a charity shop and it was 20 pence. Quite a good buy. Um, the interesting thing about the New Revised Standard Version is that it does mention the King James Version in the preface. And I'll just quote this to you. The King James Version has to compete with the Geneva Bible, yet the King James Version has grave defects. Okay, that's just what the New Revised Standard had to say about the King James Version. But the King James Version of the Bible has printed 2.5 five billion copies worldwide. Which is the most printed book of all time? And I'm happy to tell you that it is the Holy Quran. Now the Quran is the final revelation given from God direct to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Now this has been preserved for 1400 years. We have the preservation, we have millions of Muslims which have memorized the Quran for 1400 years. We also have it uh, recorded in scripture as well and this is actually the most printed book of all time in at 3 billion copies printed worldwide and why I say printed and not sold is because many of these copies are actually given out throughout the world for free and this is what we have for you today we have an opportunity for you at home wherever you are in the world you can gain you can get your free copy of the Quran today so if you would like a free copy of the Quran today please wherever you are in the world check the links below and get your free copy of the Qur'an today. You can get your copy of the Qur'an. If you're in England, you can get your, your copy of the Qur'an from JesusAndTheInjil.com where you can sign up and they will send you a free copy of the Qur'an. Alternatively, if you're a Muslim and you want to share the message of Islam, you want to share the verses of the Qur'an, we have a campaign. It's called Convey One Verse. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, 1400 years ago told us, convey from me even if one verse. So this, this campaign at the moment, Convey One Verse, is actually a campaign. We have some very nice cards 
they like very nice slick business cards where they actually have a nice picture on, on the back and on the front they have one of the ayah, one of the verses from the Qur'an which just allow people to actually remember the creator of the universe. So, brothers and sisters and friends, please make sure you share, like and comment on the video and please, most importantly, order your free copy of the Qur'an today. Peace be with you.